So you hear a lot about transformative, performance-based, revitalization, triple bottom line. And now these have become virtual cliches that have become so divorced from people knowing what they actually mean and the impact that it has that they're just words that people say now to impress other people. My name is Majestic Lane. I'm at the Inspire Speaker Series. I'm here because I believe in the power and story of place. You know, everything you hear now is someone will say, this is transformative, or we have our eye on the triple bottom line, right? And we care about the environment, we care about equity. Now go as far as to ask them what equity truly means. And that's a challenge that we have. What does, the, what does equity mean for people? What inspires me about Pittsburgh is its can-do spirit. The ability to know what it is, know its greatness, know its limitations, and move to be a better place. I think Pittsburgh is trying to be thoughtful in a way that has never been thoughtful about the confluence of race, class, quality of life. In a study this summer um, of 52, the 52 largest metropolitan areas, African Americans in Pittsburgh were fourth from the bottom. That is the experience of many that are around us, of 25% of our population. So when we think about place besides the Steelers, and besides that sense of being the steel city, what's really connecting us in the sense of place? And that's a challenge that we have to take on, all right? That our sense of place has to be larger than our neighborhoods. Place is not static, place is dynamic, and there's a difference between place making and place growing, and there's always stories behind the numbers that we see when it comes to our cities. Instead of looking at the places that have issues as problems, what are the opportunities? What are the assets? What's present there so we can continue to rebuild place? That place will influence people, and then in turn, people turn and it will influence place. When you look at things, and like I said, in communities, the easy way to say it is, okay, well, there's a problem. Move those people out. Well, here's the thing. They don't die because you moved them out. They go other places, and they do those things other places, right? So you're not getting rid of the problem, even though you're getting rid of it in one particular place. We need to do creative, innovative things, but not at the expense of people. I think we need to include a little wonderment. We need to include a little aspiration in our, in our future plans and our current plans. So we can't just rebuild places and put people in new houses and assume that that solves our issues. We can't get people vouchers and move them to first ring suburbs and assume that that solves our problems, okay? We have an opportunity to look at these things anew. We have to work together to make sure that every individual's experience when they think about their neighborhoods, no matter what's happening now, they see opportunity, they see growth, and we have to use the resources at our disposal and use the bully pulpit we have to use our, our money, we have to use philanthropy, we have to use politicians, we have to use nonprofits to really work to make sure that when we're, we're not just making place, that we're growing place. Where do we go from here? I often think about that and I think that's, that's part of our larger charge to deal with today, but to be aspirational and think about a greater tomorrow. And I think where we go is we continue to work with each other, we continue to think about our issues, we continue to know our problems, but also know our opportunities, and we continue to lay the foundation for a just, resilient, equitable city that we can all be proud of.